Hello, 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 everybody here is Dr. Gowile, again talking about different topics and science. Remember guys that we create and design this podcast to let everybody knows about Harvard University and the magazine of Harvard Medical School. You can also visit our official website, which is magazine.hml.harvard.edu. You will be able to browse thousands of thousands of articles by issue or by topic. You will be asking Dr. Gowile, which topics do we have? Research, community, education, care delivery, hours, and achievement. The article to review today is Health, Disease, and Chronobiology. Scientists are uncovering the ways circadian rhythms influence our well-being. All right, guys, I'm going to start this review straight away. One day while he was a graduate student at Stanford University, Charles embarked on an experiment that would alter the course of his career. It was 1974 and Charles was studying cortisol, a stress hormone that spikes during both an acute anxiety. Scientists were aware that cortisol also ebbs and flows the circadian cycle and Charles wanted to profile the hormone daily rhythms in the body. So he outfit human volunteers the devices that sample exam and blood repletely over time and sitting and the cortisol levels would not be affected by sleep. He found, however, However, that cortisol levels plunged when volunteers fell asleep after or later than usual delaying the normal rise that occurs a few hours after bedtime. This showed that sleep interact with circadian rhythms to affect the hormone secretion. From Cambridge, Massachusetts at Harvard University Medical School, we continue doing this beautiful review. Charles and other scientists have since gone a long way toward advancing our knowledge of circadian rhythms, which are known to regulate essential function ranking from hormone release to body temperature, sleep, and metabolism. The body in a close are actually tuned to environmental cue and optimized for the natural world. That also means they can be thrown off track by life in the modern world. Circadian disruption are increasingly linked to sleep deficiency as well as chronic illness such as diabetes. But as a scientist, they're more about how circadian rhythms affect health. We are also finding new opportunities for clinical transliteration, says Frontiers, a professor of medicine in the Division of Sleep Medicine at Harvard Medical School and a senior neuroscientist in the Division of Sleep and Circadian Disorder at Brigham and Women's Hospital. Understanding circadian biology is the key to developing novel target therapeutic interventions and protective lifestyle modifications. Robert Thomas is an Harvard Medical School Associate Professor of Medicine at Beth Israel Deacon's Medical Center, who studied sleep epidemiology with the Framingham Heart Study and Korean Genome and Epidemiology Study would agree. Sleep is holistic, affecting the heart, brain, lungs, metabolism, truly all parts of the body, and its study involves all the body system. Research is identifying this interaction so that clinicians can develop a broad and deep knowledge of how sleep affects the health of their patients. The study of circadian rhythms chronobiology draws a long evolutionary history. Billions of years ago, photosynthesis cyanobacteria evolved the ability to follow circadian clocks to anticipate and respond to sunshine at dawn, as as more complex plants and animals spread over the planet. They too evolved free functions that provide adaptive advantage. Birds evolved circadian clocks to orient themselves to the sun position during migration, and small mammals, such as chimpanzees and squirrels, still live an innate sense to foray at time that minimizes 
witness the change and of being hunted and killed. Some of the earliest evidence for circadian rings were generated during experiments performed more than 300 years ago, when scientists discovered that certain plants specific moths their leaves at the same time a day even if they are subject to total darkness. The term circadian was later coined to describe biological rings that cycle in 24 hour periods, even in the absence of environmental prompts. In mammals, circadian biology is to large extent governed by a pinhead side bungle of nerve cells at the brain called a supraosmatic nucleus. This so-called master club presides over a host of psychological processes. Scientists used to think the SCN was tied of its cycling rims by a sleep, wake schedule and social interactions. But in what he described as his most important discovery, Charlotte reported in 19 1986 that the SCN is a reality active by light impulses traveling along retinal nerve cells into the human brain. Light synchronizes the SCN to the solar day prompt for instance to coordinate cortisol release to increase during the night several hours after bedtime preceded by the release of the sleep hormone melatonin which begins an hour or two before bedtime and peaks in the middle of the night. At first, scientists assumed that the SCN controlled all aspects of the circadian biology and behavior of mammals, but during the 1990s, scientists made another crucial discovery. Individual organs and cells contain their own circadian clock, each of them similarly operating and 24 hours schedule driving by cell governing molecular clock. If you take a cell from the heart or the skin or liver or put in a dish, it will happily detect alone and exhibit ring behaviors, even without external input from the environment or a neural network. Word, cheers, explain. An isolated liver cell, for instance, fires up the gene required for metabolism and hardwired interval regardless of whether it's communication with the SCN or not. Cheer described these cells and organ specific clocks as members of the anorchestra. As the central clock, the SCN played the role of a conductor, he says, synchronizing other clocks to the light, dark, scheduling through its hormonal or neuronal signaling. But the other peripheral clocks can still be reset by behavioral cues specific to their functioning such as the timing of the meals. The Robert Henry Professor of Neurobiology in the Blavanik Institute of Harvard Medical School said the circadian clocks in Auser are composed of several self-assembling protein structures thrown to have properties like those of humans' big machines. Comparable protein machines performing other functions have moving parts and error control, says ways. They can recognize when something goes wrong and when they fix it. Charles points out that the several thousand genes of any human cells are under circadian clock control and that half of all human genes are under circadian clock control somewhere in the body. The most important processes of every organ system are regulated by the circadian clocks. Charles says circadian clocks in lung tissue regulate respiration, and in the heart they regulate circadian function. All the clock work was considered such a major advance as the scientists who accomplished this feat. Michael and Jeffrey Hulf, both genetists at the Brandeis University and Michael Young, a genetist at Rockefeller University, were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 2017. When the body falls out of sync with its other problems arise. That's what is happening today as modern technology decouples us from the solar day to which our bodies evolve. 
We fly through time zones, occurring our internal ability to distinct from night to day, resulting in a jet lag. Most of us spend the evening hour bashe in artificial light that signals the time to the SCN, chiefing circadian clocks later in time, often the old dreaming. Charles cites research showing that premature infants exposed to 12 hours of turning cycles of light and dark in the neonatal intensive care unit gain more wave, achieve better oxygen levels and are discharged weeks earlier than babies kept the consciously illuminate NICUS, signifying how solar rims are hardwired into the human genome. Indeed, researchers have found that light is the most potent disrupt of circadian biology. That is especially true of the blue light emitting from our computer screens. Alright guys, remember you can research this beautiful article from the magazine of Harvard Medical School. It's health disease or chronobiology. It will be able if you just found it. This article has been posted by Harvard Medical School and the Communications Office and External Relations. Remember to download this at the Dr. Wild podcast. See you next time. Bye-bye.